What's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another update video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about, well, the third subject in today's particular type of video, which is basically me updating you guys on particular moments, events, things happening in my life that, uh, you know, important enough to me that I thought, well, I'd better share this with my audience. Um, YouTube has always been that kind of thing for me. Uh, if and when I decide that something is important enough to me to share, I will do on this platform and that's what YouTube's given me. So with that being said, today's video, we're not talking about rugby, we're not talking about bodybuilding, but we are talking about, well, basically a mixture of the two guys. We're talking about the New Zealand Institute of Sport, the NZIS, here in Christchurch. Christchurch has one of three campuses. Uh, that the NZIS uh, operate. Now, if you were coming up in the ranks of sport in New Zealand, there's no doubt that in some way, shape or form, you will be connected to the NZIS. It is the Institute of Sport. It's got the best of the best as far as, you know, people, uh, I guess, networking, uh, probably technology, probably equipment, but all of that stuff will be revealed in good time. Because today, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm here to officially announce that I have <laughs> finally, after six years of humming and harring, you know, getting back into Christchurch, getting back here before lockdown, being in lockdown, realizing that, you know, money's not everything, realizing that I want to do something that I enjoy, and realizing that if you're turning up to a job, a job, a workplace that you do enjoy that you're passionate about it doesn't feel like work and that's what I've been doing throughout this lockdown except the workplace that I've been turning up to has been my computer <laughs> but uh, you know YouTube does pay a certain amount it is an income it's uh, certainly a part-time income even though I do put in full-time hours but with all that being said guys I'm gonna be putting five days a week five hours a day into my personal training certificate so I'm beginning a, a certificate for in personal training this is not online it is on campus that's pretty much the reason I wanted to do it uh, the NZIS I've said for the last five years would be the only place that I'd even consider doing this course because I don't want to do it online I don't want to learn things online I don't want to do this course online I don't want to have I don't want to get through it I don't want to be one of those guys that just wants to get through it and get the piece of paper what's the point in that you know I'm in a lucky, a very, very fortunate position right now, guys, where I'm going to be doing this course without the, the need to have a guaranteed job in the industry at the end of it, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to have that pressure on me. So I'm going to be in those classrooms just taking in the information. I literally just want this information for my own good so I can share it with whoever I want to in the future. And if I do, by the end of that 16-week period, actually decide, you know what, I'm going to give being a personal trainer a good go then I'll be equipped with the tools and the knowledge to do so. So today I've been at the NZIS uh, for the second time. I actually went there in December of last year. Um, I had a meeting with the ca campus manager and basically discussed everything I just, just discussed today, um, but probably not, not quite as in depth. Today's discussion was with the uh, with the course leader, not the campus manager. So this this is a guy that I, I will be working with, you know, very closely. He's one of the tutors there, and we had a chat for about 45 minutes. And you know, I think this is definitely the way to go. I feel like, whilst I'm not, you know, working full time, whilst I do have the time to study, uh, I'm going to do it. And it's on a subject that I'm extremely passionate about, and it's on a subject that I can, I can then relate back to sport, and I can relate it back to bodybuilding which are two of my, you know, biggest passions. And, uh, well, if I can actually become a professional in the field, who knows what doors might open up. So I'm really excited. There's three things that, you know, I've, I've embarked on very, very recently, uh, and I've just made videos about all three of them. The first is, uh, well, playing rugby again. The second is... Uh, doing another bodybuilding show and actually working with my first uh, proper bodybuilding coach here in Christchurch. And the third is the video you're watching right now and that is about studying a 16-week personal training course at the NZIS here in Christchurch. There's a 25 student cap. I will be one of the 25 students and I can't fucking wait. 
So guys, obviously you can expect uh, anything I learn, anything I learn in that course that I feel like I want to share, I will share. And uh, you know, I, I've, thinking of major key physiques, thinking, you know, thinking the industry that it's in, it's not sports anymore. I had to rebrand that. I had to, I had to create a, a, a tighter niche for major key physiques to be involved in because we just weren't hitting people with the advertisements. You know, when I was writing up copy for my, uh, for my ads and for my posts, I, I just couldn't nail down who we were targeting, who's our target customer, you know what I mean? And so I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going all sports, that's just impossible. It's called Major Key Physiques for a reason. The reason I developed that business was to be around me as a personal trainer, although I decided to change that idea and just create a brand with products. Although now, if I was to be a personal trainer, obviously Major Key Physiques would be the business, and uh, all the apparel and everything on top of that would be the, the products. So, you know, MKP, Major Key Physiques, I, I'm, I'm still super excited about where, it, where it's going to go. Uh, <laughs> I guess that, that is actually going to be the fourth video of the series. After six months of closing our doors, Major Key Physiques is reopening. And, uh, yeah, before I forget, I'd probably, probably better make a video about that and put it on the channel because I don't want to be opening the, the store and have no one know about it. Because at the end of the day, you've got to be passionate about your product. You've got to be proud of your product. And if your product is good enough, people will notice. And I'm firmly behind Major Key Physiques, as always. I love our products. They're extremely high quality, probably too high quality to be fair. Uh, but, you know, the price point. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Oh, is that right? So anyways, I've just got out of a 45 minute uh, meeting with with Craig, his name is, and uh, following this I'll be contacting StudyLink to pay for it. Obviously that's on a student loan here in New Zealand and I can pay them back, which is fine. And uh, well, that'll be it. So in a couple of weeks, well not a couple of weeks, but in four or five weeks time, you know, I should be number one, playing rugby each week, number two, working with a bodybuilding coach and working towards my, my third ever bodybuilding show in my first in five years. And number three is studying at the NZIS. And number four is going to be, <laughs> you know, continuing Major Key Physiques as a business. Number five is continuing my YouTube channel. And number six, which is actually number one, is being a good father to my two daughters. Or the best I can whilst in another country. So with all that being said, guys, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like I'm forming, forming. Uh, and my foaming jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Vroom, vroom, tell them I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing.